list here of who would like to address the uh, uh, city council under this particular item. Uh, I believe Brand Brandy Eckerman, I believe, is the first one. Yes, sir. No more, <coughs> if you will. My name is Brandy Eckerman, and I'm reading this on behalf of, of my husband, Keith Eckerman. We have uh, passed out many long letters to the council, staff, the media, and the audience, but due to time restrictions, I will only mention the highlights now. First, I am not against economic development. If it can be justified as bringing a positive economic benefit to city and if facts of the deal are made public. I understand the city met Saturday morning and will release some details about this, but I am confident the facts would not have been released to the public if not for the ads I put in the radiogram just as the details of other recent closed door deals have not been released. I just saw the radiogram that came out today and there is indeed a little more information and it just further shows how this deal has even less of a positive economic impact than first thought. Um, oh, one thing to note, the California trip that is referenced in the radiogram happened far after Mike Jones introduced himself to the city and stated his intentions to move his business to Lampasas area but it posed as this trip to California was critical in bringing this company to Lampasas. The purchase price of $375,000 was $25,000 over the asking price for this property. We now can see why this deal was kept secret since the terms of it are absolutely giving this business an unfair advantage to compete with other local businesses. Is this really a lease to buy situation or is this city just financing this property at $100,000 less than purchase price at only 3% interest? Have you done this math to see just how much this business will save with such a low interest rate over 15 years and in addition to the instant $100,000 equity into the property? If it was a lease to buy, I would assume the city would get some amount of rent that does not go to the purchase price and the city is financing this for only 10 new $10 to $12 an hour jobs. What am I missing here? Since it is a lease to buy situation, I assume the city will own the property until fully purchased by Mr. Jones. If so, exactly how do you intend to require this business to pay property taxes? Local business owners and citizens should be outraged that our decision makers are making these kinds of deals and trying to justify them as having a positive impact. Councilmember Toops posted a Facebook post that was vague and contained misleading information. Your post mentioned this company will generate jobs, enhance property values, produce tax revenue, and utilize city utilities. Are we really going to do all of this for only 10 jobs? In my opinion, adding a trucking and crane business and a car... Could I interject? You said you can't talk. That's you said you cannot talk. That's uh, true. You and now you interrupted her. Where, Has it been three minutes? We're, we're, we're approaching, uh, I believe we have, but... So you're uh, using my three minutes? We well, use it up right now, well, No. Uh, we're aware of some of the some of the issues that have been raised and and so forth, and, and, and they've been looked into, and like I said, the, some of those things uh, now can, can be answered. And, uh, and uh, so... Okay, but what about beforehand? Before when they were asked and uh, we were blatantly lied to and the doors were locked. Well, y'all release the information uh, when you feel like you want to release information, not when it should like be. Like I said, now where? But can I finish my three minutes? Well, let me say this. Some of those issues about the door and all that have been looked into and what have you. But uh, I'll, give, I'll give you another probably minute here. Okay. What, what the doors being locked? At the, the workshop, at the workshop session, when Mike Jones introduced himself to the city last October or November, he and his acquaintances stated they were moving to this area and looking for businesses to purchase, and were in the process of moving some of this equipment to the Central Texas area. How did we go from Mr. Jones looking for property to purchase to the city purchasing a building for twenty-five thousand dollars more than asking price for this business to utilize? Was a realtor used for this purchase? Is Mr. Jones going to continue to store equipment at the business park? I understand there have been talks about allowing Mr. Jones to utilize council member Beerswall's lease property at the old industrial park. Are these locations still being offered to Mr. Jones for his business? Did this economic analyst take into account the possibility of a lawsuit from Mike Jones as part of their justification? I was told by council member White just last week that one reason the city agreed to this deal was to avoid a potential lawsuit from Mike Jones due to a breach of contract by the city concerning the lease of the old concrete plant in which Ratliff Ready Mix had the lease rights to. Is this true? I also 
attended a city council meeting a few weeks ago and found the doors to the council chambers to be locked with a note saying they're in executive session and no one is allowed inside during that time. However, when the doors open, who walks out? But Mike Jones, his realtor and other associates, the city's legal counsel, the city manager, and several council members. Why were all the parties to this behind closed doors deal allowed inside the council chambers, but the rest of the public and media were forced to stand Brian outside? Kidd, I believe I, I, I told you I'd give you a minute. We're limiting here to three minutes you now. Uh, you also said this wasn't a debate, and you made it that way. Well, it's not. It's not a debate, and the council can't. Uh, Why can you talk? Yeah. Well, okay. we've got Point to conduct taken. the meeting here, and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, we'll. Uh, Pete, we'll, we'll, we'll let you speak, and like I said, for three minutes. <coughs> By your business, uh, who are analysts, my business is worth $20 million. I do $2 million a year in business. So what I'm asking the city to do is if I employ six employees at $15 to $30 an hour, sometimes up to 20 I have records to prove this. I would like the city to buy my building and finance to me at a discounted rate and give me a 3% interest note. I'm asking the council members to step down who have used cell phones during closed session, open session meetings. I have proof of this. I'm also asking council members who have picked up my letter in the middle of a council meeting, closed session, and mentioned my name, you know who you are, to step down immediately. I'm asking the city, manager, the city uh, mayor for signing that check I gave him that was not authorized by city council to step down immediately. I'm asking for if your best friends have had a line extension to their property at no cost when you step down. If you, if anybody on city council has knowingly broke the law or ordinances after I brought it to their attention they have too many animals, the mayor, would you please step down? That's abuse of power and that's what you're doing. And if anybody on city council have ever uh, taken a bribe, wait, I'm asking to step down. Wait just, wait just a minute and, and, uh, and we're having a meeting here now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bring these issues me. here. Uh, how about the check that was written signed by well, him and you and for seven thousand uh, dollars that was not? And uh, we're not. I'm, we're, we're for somebody that him hauls as much as you and cannot okay, rent any a, question shouldn't uh, be the mayor. Just I'm asking a minute, you to step down. Just a minute. Just a minute. Where you're you're allowed under this item here to make comments, but but we're not gonna. Uh, we're not, we're no, not because gonna it's because go deal with you. So I'm asking your fellow and, uh, and your. Person, uh, can I please speak my three minutes? Can you shut up while I speak? Please. You gonna arrest me for that, Tim? No, if you want to, go ahead. The mayor has nothing to me. He's nobody. He puts his pants on one leg at a time like me. And just for the record, I will be running for your position and get it. Well, we're not, we're not going to debate that. Here can tonight. I please finish speaking on no. the redoing of the city? Can I be on the agenda to bring these facts up on the agenda of wrongdoing by city council and yourself and this guy? I've asked to be on the agenda four, three or four times, and y'all refuse to let me on the agenda. I'm begging to be on the agenda for corruption in here. Uh, Is that something y'all look into? Well, uh, you know, there's certain things. And it's funny, there's two people giving speeches here, agenda. and she can't have an extra two minutes to finish the most important thing we're talking about. Well... What else? What what other comment? Do you I have? think there's plenty right there. Probably enough to have somebody locked up like yourself for signing a check that well, you know it was seven thousand dollars. We're not. We're not. We're not getting into that. I am getting into there's, that. That's there's, the question. I have the facts. I handled the city council. Well, did you any, sign that anyway, check? Anyway, anyway, did you we're sign not, that check? Uh, to Rex K. Johnson I, I, I for seven thousand dollars. I signed all kinds of checks. Do you? Uh, so you don't look at them and say, "Hey, this one's over," and we didn't discuss it in the budget? Well. Well, okay, but, but I, sign, I sign all kinds of checks. That's a normal Maybe you should thing. read what you're signing every, every, sign week that, every week that goes on here. And, and uh, we're aware And then of, Toops also brought up to me with Harrison that you're going to have him kicked off city council for leaking information to me. Was that uh, just a rumor? Or, and you were involved in that too. We're not, you called me and asked me stuff. Now, this meeting here, we're not... Well, I want uh, to bring this up. I want, to, I want a meeting on this. Can I discuss this one day? A, a meeting on this? Yes, I've been begging uh, you for a meeting. I've asked you 10 times. Uh, and you refused to let me have a meeting. But Toops, you, and Harrison said you wanted him, this man off the city council. Y'all came to me, you called me. Tell me you didn't call me. I, that I called you? Yes, you did call me. The chief knows you got his number from me. You called me. 
You're gonna lie right here and say you never called my cell phone. Well, I called you, but we didn't talk. Yes, we talked we about Mike White and having kicked off city council. We, we didn't talk about. We didn't talk about any of that. We're not getting in. So you're a lie. I'm gonna ask you. I'm, I got you recorded, so I'll bring that at the next meeting I'm, if I could. I'm sir. gonna ask you to. Uh, you know, with, is my time up? It's it's up. Uh, three minutes is up. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.